good morning and of course happy friday i see my previous student and current active dispatcher is saying finally it's friday yes in logistics we always stress out about the fridays and we have to prepare for our tough mondays right as a good dispatcher you guys are going to be pre-planning but before we're going to start posting some trucks and making some phone calls and see what's going on, let's review some trend lines. What's going on, right? Compared to December, what's going on in uh, January, in beginning of January? And how can we overview 2021? It was a difficult year, challenging, but the market was strong. So let's see what is that gives us as an overview of 2021. So first I went to that and I'm looking what's going on. So compared to December, our rates are still going strong. Look at this, uh, dry vans going uh, back even 12 cents more, right? So this is for loaded miles compared to December. This is loaded miles. So approximately we're looking at $3.12 for dry vans. For flatbeds, uh, step decks, we are looking 3 or 6. And of course, step decks, canistogas, they are specialty equipment. So the rates are higher. And look at the reefers. Reefers are going way stronger. So what that is telling us? Well, look at this. I'm going to remove myself so you guys can see better, right? Uh, it tells us that after what we thought was a crazy year in 2020, well, last year turned out to be even more uh, volatile for shippers, brokers, and carriers. Used truck prices almost doubled. Spot market volumes increased by 80% year over year. Shippers recorded double-digit rate increases for five straight quarters. New truck order cancellation escalated as manufacturers struggled to commit to capacity. Supply chain distrib uh, disruptions persisted. Residential housing construction surged. And the latest COVID-19 variant threatened to add a new route of restrictions, right? And on top of it, look at this. We are still waiting for 1 million shipping containers to be unloaded. So as a dispatcher, as a pro dispatcher, as a person who is a part of logistics, you need to understand that all of those things are affecting the market, affecting the way you dispatch, how much your owner operator makes, right? So you have to be part of logistics community. For me personally, I love that because they do have the live show. They go, I believe, every month, uh, Tuesdays or whatever. You have to follow them. Truck stops also give you all the updated thread lines. But every broker nowadays, they do have it on their load boards. They have information. They help you to understand supply and demand, capacity, right? So what is the hardest thing right now? Well, it's impossible to buy trucks. The prices went so high because new trucks are not coming in because manufacturers are struggling to get the chips from China or whatever is going on, so they are not coming. What else? We have so many ships waiting to be unloaded, right? One million containers. What else is going on? Look outside. I am in Chicagoland. Today is very, very cold, right? It's winter. We've just witnessed a big uh, snowstorm in Virginia. We've witnessed a snowstorm in Pennsylvania. We had a lot of snow on West Coast, right? So all of this is going on. Dispatch, how can I help? Yeah, I want to see if you have a truck near Chicago available. Uh, yes, actually, we do have a reefer available. What do you have, sir? Uh, I have Chicago to Westfield, Massachusetts for today. Okay. And uh, let me see. Hold on a second. Let me prepare the map. Where is the pickup? 
Uh, it's actually North Lake. I can give you the zip code if you need it. No, I'm good. North Lake. And what time is the pickup? Uh, before two. Before two. Where are we going in Massachusetts? Yeah. Uh, it's Westfield, zip code 01085. Okay. Westfield, Massachusetts. When are we delivering there? Uh, it's Monday at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. What is a commodity? Uh, 28 degrees pork products. Pork products. Okay. Who is a shipper in North Lake? Um, it'd be frozen assets. Um, I'm sorry? Frozen assets. Frozen assets. Okay. Yeah. And how much are you paying, sir? Uh, I have 55 in it, so break even at this point. I just need to get a driver on it. Yeah, unfortunately, let me check. I think market is paying more because it's a shortage of the drivers today due to the due to the yeah. Christmas. What do you guys need to run it? Well, if we have to go and pick up and deliver in Massachusetts 1 p.m., who is the receiver in Massachusetts? CNS. CNS. And they have 1 p.m. because usually they receive after 5. It's usually at night, but they need the product, so they're going to have staff on standby. For sure? Yeah, that's confirmed. Okay. Yes, for me to do this load, honey, unfortunately, I have to be at 64 because that's what everybody's paying. Okay. All right. Um, I will mark it down. If um, that's accepted, I will give you a call back. Shortly. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Dispatch. Hi. How's it going today? I just wanted to call and see if you had that 53-foot reefer available in Lake Zurich, Illinois. Yes, it is available. What do you have, sir? Yeah, so uh, I'm trying to move a shipment from uh, Bridgeview, Illinois, right outside Chicago to uh, Aberdeen, Maryland, right outside of Philadelphia. Uh, who is a receiver in Aberdeen? I'm sorry? Who is a receiver in Maryland? Yeah, let me pick that up real quick. One second. Uh, it's MVM. Okay. And what time is delivery? Yeah, so uh, it is going to be a first come, first serve pickup uh, until 4 p.m. And the delivery appointment is 7 a.m. on the 10th. 10th is uh, it's Tuesday? Hold it. Yes. Or no, uh, the 10th is Monday. And Monday. And how much are you offering, sir? Yeah, so right now the lane's paying around 3600 but, you know, I'm going to want to throw 4000 out there. Well, honey, nobody pays um, less than, nobody pays less than, actually today, 45 to 5500 So my lowest would 45? be. 45? Yeah, my lowest, right. would, actually my lowest would be 5000 to go to Maryland because of the tolls and the holidays right now. Um, You know, I can I definitely couldn't do five thousand. Uh, I could talk to my broker, maybe get it up to forty five hundred. Uh, if you could try and meet me somewhere. Unfortunately, five thousand would be my lowest hand at this moment. All right. Wait. Okay. Sorry. One second. Let me just uh, ask real quick. Okay. You know what? I could do five. Oh, you can do five. So let's go through the details one more time. Where are we picking up? Yeah. So it's going to be picking up in Bridgeview, Illinois. What time? Zip code. Uh, picking up first come first serve until 4 p.m. And the, the commodity is a truckload of frozen beef weighing 42,000 pounds. Uh, temperature uh, continuous at the negative 10. May I have a zip code in Maryland? I'm sorry. May I have a zip code for delivery? Yeah, it's 21001. Two one zero zero one. Which city? Uh, Aberdeen, Maryland. And one more time, who is the receiver? Uh, the receiver will be MBM. And you have appointment? Yes, the appointment is for 7 a.m. on Monday the 10th. Okay. And it's a frozen beef? Yes, it's a truckload of frozen beef. What is the value, uh, for, what is the value for this load? Uh, 225 to 250. What do you mean 225 to 250? 
Cool. Okay, so we have a uh, cargo only for 100,000. So how can we book this? Okay, uh, let me ask my broker real quick. I... Um, no, it's okay, honey. Beef is a high value. So you need to find a carrier who has coverage for 200, 250. Thank you. Yeah. Dispatch. Hey, this is Paulo from Molo. I'm uh, calling you guys about your uh, Lake Zurich reefer that's trying to head out to Massachusetts. No, it can go anywhere in East Coast, but what do you have? Yeah, I got a uh, load picking up in Wilmington, Illinois from now until 6 p.m. First come, first serve that's uh, delivering out to uh, Westfield, Massachusetts. Um, it's actually, so it'll be, yeah, that first come, first serve window. Then we got a second pick in Lebanon, Indiana tomorrow morning, 930. And then we deliver out to Westfield on the 11th at 7.30 p.m. Well, first of all, it's an extra day in a transit and we do not do a multi-pick, multi-drop, honey. One-on-one -on -one only, sorry. No problem. Thank you. Dispatch. Hi, good afternoon, ma'am. Um, do you still have a reefer today in Lake Zurich? Yes, I do. You do? I've got an option. I don't know if you'd be interested. Um, they both pick up out of Elgin, Illinois. Let today. me first Let me first uh, check your MC. What is your MC? Sure. 748-469. 748 469. 469. Gold Coast Logistics in Elgin. Gold Coast Logistics, yeah, you're, you guys already opened your office in Elgin? Uh, it's being built. We should have it up and running by, uh, I think, March 1st. We're across the street right now okay. um, in a little makeshift. makeshift uh, okay. What do you have, sir? What nice, is your pick but, when is your pickup? Yeah, Sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. uh, I got 3 p.m. in Elgin, Illinois. That one's going to Chester, New York. That one delivers on Monday at 5 p.m. It's only 9,000 pounds. What is a commodity? Uh, palletized food products, 55 to 65 degrees. And what are you offering, sir? Uh, on that one, I'm trying to be at like 4,200. Well, with um, today's pod market, uh, you know, due to, due to Christmas and everything, I already got a few phone calls. I have to be yes, at 5,600. Sorry. Okay, no problem. I appreciate your time. Thanks for checking. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, guys, those phone calls just start going on, right? Well, let's see. We need to have a plan, right? We have the reefer, which is available in Chicagoland. So, what is the deal? He can pick up today, and we're looking for delivering tomorrow. So, I mean, not tomorrow, on Monday on East Coast. Or we can pick up on Sunday and still deliver on Monday. So, let's go back. Let's go back and make sure that those postings are correct. So first, why did I put uh, Lake Zurich to Massachusetts? Because somebody called me. I wanted to see what everybody else is paying, right? This is the fastest way for you to see. So going exactly to Massachusetts, we had 75 loads. The highest paying is 85. But of course, when you see 85, that means that it has some extra stops, extra pickup, and look at the deadhead, right? I do not believe in a deadhead, so I want to make sure that we're picking up something close by, right? We can go, for example, five to, look, they already posted 5,500, right? Ready now, Huntley to Townsend, Massachusetts. So we're going to make sure we make those phone calls. But let me adjust it first. So I'm going to add the post, right? If you just post it really fast, you have a chance to adjust. I'm going to Z0, Z1, Z2 right? So you can post by the zones. Then here, you're going to put everything you know about the driver, right? Dispatch. Hi, yes, I'm calling on a truck. You've got in Illinois today. Uh, yes. How can I help? I've got, a load picking, I've got a load picking up out of Chicago, Illinois, going to Westboro, Mass. And I can also back you up coming out of uh, Chicopee back to Florida. And it sounds like something you'd be interested in. Oh, probably not to Florida. If you have to back me up, I have to go back to Chicago. But let's talk about okay. this load. Where is it picking up? Yeah, it's picking up out of Chicago. Um, you need the zip code? Yes, please. I'm in Chicago. I need to know which part of right. Chicago. Yeah, it's picking up out of Ashland Cold there, 60609. Okay. It's delivering to 01581. 01581. What time is the pickup? Uh, the pickup's today at 6 p uh, 1600. Okay. 4 p.m. 4 p.m. When is the delivery? 
it delivers on the 10th at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Who is a receiver in Massachusetts? Lineage. Uh, lineage. Oh, lineage Logistics. And what is the commodity? Mm -hmm. uh, the commodity is uh, pork breakfast sausage. Okay. What is your MC, ma'am? My MC? Mm -hmm. um, hold on one moment here. Sorry about that, ma'am. Yeah, it's 263-539. 263-539. 539. 539. Let's see if we can work with you. Are you a USA Logistics? Correct. Okay. Well, your rating is C. We do prefer to work with A and B. But uh, how much are you offering on this? I can pay 5400 54 well, it seems like going to Massachusetts, everybody today around 6,000. So we have to stick to that Meeting number. Six. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if there's anything better I can do for you. Sounds good. Ma'am? Yes. Yeah, I can do the 6,000 for you. You can do 6,000? Uh, yeah. I need to make sure that I am approved with a C rating from my management. So can you give me a second and I'll call you right back. Is this your direct number? Uh, it's the 219-850-1485. Okay. And your name? And what's your name? My name, my is, name is Tracy. What's your name? My name is Alex. Uh, so uh, I just need, Alex? Few, yeah, I just need a few minutes. And one more time, we are delivering 3, 3 a.m. on Monday, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Give me a second. I'll call you right back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So there's a phone call, right? $6,000 to Massachusetts picking up four o'clock. Let's look at this um, transit. So if we are picking up today at 4 p.m., right? We're going to pick up at 4 p.m. Then the driver probably going to go home. Let's look 948 miles. He needs to leave tomorrow afternoon so he can drive probably somewhere to Cleveland. Then he going to drive all Sunday because he has an early delivery in Massachusetts. $6,000. Roughly, what are we talking? Total 1,000 miles, right? So six bucks per mile. It's not, it's not bad. And what's going to happen? He's going to be an early truck. Well, their rating is C. Do I like to work with the brokers who have C? Well, not really, A and B. Well, we're gonna make a few phone calls. Of course, I mean, I have the luxury. I have the luxury just to tell them that I have to verify, call them back and see what else I can find because I still want to find a broker who maybe I already set up because in this case I have to set up, I don't really know them. And C rating is not something I'm really looking forward to. I'm looking at RTS. The, this company had 307 um, loads with RTS and average pay is 40 days, which is kind of now is, an, is, is okay. But I like the brokers who pay 15 days, who pay 30 days, but after 30, it's already is challenging. Well, let's see. Let's see who is watching us today. And remember, guys, to put likes and to make sure you share it because you want me to share all this, you have to support our mission. And our mission is to do what? To change trucking for better, right? So you understand how it works, how dynamic it is. See, we just posted the truck. So what else did I do? I added it for Sunday, right? So E-Trex. So we'll see. Maybe instead of going and picking up today, we can find an early load on Sunday. Dispatch. Hello, yes. my name is Mzell, calling with CW Carriers. If mm -hmm. it's tell me if your truck post in Lake Surrey, Illinois is still available. Yes, it is right. available, sir. Can I start with your MC first? 682070. 6820707. Uh, 6820707. Okay, and name of the company? CW Carriers, CW 
CW Cares out of Florida. Yes, Tampa. Yeah, Tampa, Florida. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Do you have this truck in Lake Sir? Yes, I do. Greater? Yes, I do. So what do you have, sir? Yeah, I have option. I have option picking up in Franklin Park, Illinois, delivering in Elkton, Maryland. Load, load is ready now. Can we pick up by 10 p.m. today? First come, first serve. Delivery is scheduled for, for Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, whenever you can. Okay, so who is the receiver in Elkton? Let me see. PFG Customized Distribution. Okay, but don't they need to schedule appointment? Uh, we just need to, I mean, you just need to give us your ET when we'd like to deliver the load so we can schedule mm -hmm. appointment. We just get the load. Okay, so are you bidding on the load or you already have the load? I mean, we just got a tender and we are working on rescheduling appointments. We have pickup time and we just need someone who would like to tell us his ETA to, or whatever he would like to. Okay, how much are you paying? Load. How so much are you paying, sir? 38. I would like to give you 38 for this. And I will see it. I will just seven and I think three would be would be more than good. More than good. 38. Did you see that we have right now 40 loads going to Maryland from Chicago and they are paying from 45 to 4700? So how is 38 is going to be a good rate? I mean I'm looking at the average. Yeah, but you you yeah, you're looking at average, but today is a spot market, right? Today is Friday. No drivers in Chicago because they all celebrate in Christmas. I can hear that you probably Eastern European yourself, right? So 38 is is not a good rate. So are you willing to come up to 5,500? How many? 5,500. That's what the market's paying today. It's a spot market. Okay, stay with me, please. Me, I'll just check with, with the client if I can give you 52. Okay, check with the client. So, again, look at the stuff. So, what did I do? I put Lake Zurich exactly to Alcton, Maryland, right? It's 40 loads which go in today from Chicago. Look at the prices even posted. And we have loads which is not even posted. This is not their top dollar, but if they already paying 45, 43, of course we can push them to 50, 52, 55, right? And this guy is, wants to pay us what? He wants to pay us last week prices? No, this is called spot market, right? So are we going to help? Hello? Yes. Sorry, the best I can do is four. Uh, the best you can do four? Yeah, thank you. Unfortunately, yeah. we cannot help you. Thank you for calling. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So are we going to just jump and book the load? No, we already had an offer for 6000 to go to Massachusetts, right? We have other offers. So no, we're not going to do that. So let's check one more time. If you go to the quick rate search, right? This is your tool. And you're going to check to the equipment reefer. And you're going to put, let's say, Chicago, right? Chicago, Illinois. Going to... Elkton, Maryland. It's going to show you the last 14 days. So that's what he's paying, right? Because this is the average. When he said 38, that's what he's looking. But what are we having today? Again, we have the holidays. Half of the drivers are not going on the road in Chicago land. That's what's called spot market due to what? due to holidays, due to the weather, snowstorms, right? Due to unusual uh, other weather conditions, maybe hurricanes, maybe national holidays, right? Due to maybe shortage in certain area or maybe produce, right? When the produce is going to start. So uh, all, all of this you have to understand. So let's look, let's look on uh, Sunday. But we will be answering the phone call. So don't mind me, you guys. That's how it goes, right? So I'm trying to go live, answer phone calls, and do all of this, right? Dispatch. Hello, this is Nick. How are you doing today? Hi, Nick. How are you? I'm doing great. It's Friday. Do you have the best load for me? 
I do have the best loads. I got multiple loads for you. I just want to see what you like the best. How about that? Well, I have truck available in uh, Chicago area. He's a reefer. He can pick yes. up today and he's looking to get a good paying load to East Coast. So one pick, one drop. I do need to know shippers and receivers. So if you cannot help me with that, we're not going to be continuing this conversation. We just talked yesterday. I can help you out. Okay. So what okay. do you have today? Okay. So <laughs> I do have a one, I do, I have a one pick, uh, I believe a two drop going to Maryland. Mm. Um, I know that doesn't work for you. That I don't doesn't think work you're actually interested in my Texas load, but I don't think you're going to be, are you? Uh, well, unless you're going to pay the prices, but I don't think you can go and lose a few thousand dollars, you know? Did you go do what? I mean, my I told you, if I'm going to go to Texas, I have to be around that uh, 52, 54. Are you going to willing to pay that to go to Texas? Yeah. I mean, I wish, but unfortunately, I can't do that. Okay, so let's talk. What do you have today? One pick, one drop. Yeah, that's the only thing I got. That's the only thing I have left, honestly, is that Indiana to Texas load. Uh, one pick, one drop. And that's $3,500 that I can do on that one. So not going to pitch your bill. Yeah, unfortunately. Sorry. It's all right. Have a great day. Uh huh. Bye bye. Okay, so he's still trying to call back and push the load, which we already denied yesterday. What did change today? Well, we still have truck, but we're not going to go down in the rate. Look, the people calling us, right? Let's go to some questions. So who do we have? Um, hello. Hello, Sarah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jerry. Our members, thank you for our members supporting our missions. Good morning, Oracle. Good morning, Jared. Uh, good morning, Merry Christmas. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I need to know the time zones because it's 1.44 p.m. Yes, you need to know the time zones. We are in central time zones. How important it is, right? Sheila is watching our previous students. Carla, good morning, Alex. Good morning. Good morning. Nice example. And again, hello, everybody. Thanks for watching. Please like, share. Um, Loved how you did not change the rate. Well, I do not change the rate because I'm not a desperate dispatcher, right? They have to come up to me. I will change a little bit, but, you know, my middle is a different middle. And we can find a good paying load. Anyway, so it's only 12 o'clock. Our truck ready to run. And we can find it today. We can find it for Sunday. So it doesn't matter. I have plenty of time. Hello, hello, hello. So, I uh, love this live call format. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my interest hunter. Okay. Uh, again, Merry Christmas. Still a Christmas. And I love how assertive you are. Life is a business and the only thing that changes is a merchandise. Okay. Hello. Hello. Privet. Privet. Okay. Smart woman in your office. <laughs> Not driving. Gracias. Gracias, guys. Do not speak. Uh, do not speak Spanish yet. Maybe that's something I do need to look forward to. Wow, I'm one driver experience. This sounds cool. So, what do you want to see, guys? Where are you stuck right now? Is anybody of you stuck right now without load? Put your comment, and we're gonna post it and see. Make sure you post city, state, and equipment, and where you looking to go to. Right. I'm going back, I am going back, and that's what I want to share with you. So in our classes, we do send a Google for, form to see uh, what is our students looking for, and we just start doing it for the last two, two, three classes. So, so far, I have like 114 responses because our new class is starting up on January 22nd. So let's see. Why do you guys choose our training? And again, if they're going to uh, make a phone call, if we're going to receive, I will be answering. So don't mind me jumping from one subject to another, multitasking. This is one of the quality a good dispatcher has to do. Answering the phone, answering the email, still thinking of how you look at life, right? So this is all multitasking. Anyway, I'm just joking, guys. So let's see. So why did you choose our training? 
let's just scroll down. Well, to learn this pattern, you are the most reliable pro I uh, program. I just want to be my own boss and help my husband, who is already truck owner. I wanted the best. I watched the videos and really impressed how clear and true questions were answered. I would like to start a dispatch company to supplement my trucking company. I want to learn how better dispatch, change in career, want to do something different, change our profession, right? And work on my own schedule. Let's scroll down a few times. Um, because it's intense. I like your teaching and I feel like I can learn from you hands on, provide a lot of information. Dispatch. Yeah, calling about your reefer in Lake Zerling, Illinois. Uh, yes, how can we help? Yeah, I'm going to pick up in Chicago, Illinois, going to uh, Pittsburgh, PA. Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, where exactly in Chicago? Can you give me zip code, sir? Uh, they didn't give me a zip code. I, I, uh, let me see. What is the address? I'll get a zip code for you. One sec. Uh, 60632. Okay. 60632. Who is a shipper? Uh, it's my customer. Okay. And where are we going? Pittsburgh? Yep. When is it delivering? Uh, Monday, 10 a.m. Monday, 10 a.m. What is a commodity? Yep. It's uh, 42,000 pounds, palletized potatoes, ran at 45, continuous. Potatoes, palletized potatoes. Okay. Yep. Well, potatoes, potatoes. Ah, uh, how much are you paying today? Is a spot market? You already probably know this. I do, and I want to pay you thirty five hundred. Please tell me you can do that. <laughs> you want to pay me thirty five hundred, and I can do it. Well, I certainly can help you, but I really need to be at forty three because 43. yes, market is. I mean, I have the truck. He can pick up on time. He can deliver on time for you to the Pit Pittsburgh, but I have to be at 4,300. And can I check your MC? Yeah, 250574. 250574. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Verse Group Logistics, while well, your rating is great, we can get set up. So do you want to call your customer? Oh, you can just push this. Why should you... Why should you <laughs> ship it today with this crazy price? Is you in logistics? You're, you? you're a great saleswoman. I, you understand that, right? <laughs> I understand them, that. It doesn't make sense. It's potatoes. It's not something they really need unless the Pittsburgh is running out of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wow. No, he, he, I, I know. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm pretty sure that 43 is not going to work. I know I can. I know I can do like 37. That's probably pushing it, but I know I can do that. Could you do 37? Do 37 for me right now, and I'll have more. I can even get you some more consistent work. I have these lanes all the time, constantly. Annie, I know, but you know I'm a professional. In a spot market, so I. I cannot help you because I have to make sure my carrier gets the best paying load. I can tell you this. Yeah. I can go to 4,000. So if you want to call your, uh, your guy, make sure you do so. Tell him he knows. Or... Just advise him. You don't have to lose money okay. because you're not even making money. Just push it to Sunday. Push it to Monday. Come on. Mm. Tell him that trucks are not starting today. It's cold in Chicago. I'm saving you money. I'm giving you free advice. You know, I don't want you to uh, lose money. I want you to still. I've tried. So I've tried to do that already. I already had somebody. I already had somebody try four, and I tried it. And he was like, you know, you, you gotta get him down, and I'll be honest. Wow, well, who are you dealing with? I some, like some, him. some Greek produce guy? Tell him this is a Christmas. He knows it's Christmas, so all he has to pay, he's making enough money on those potatoes anyway. Or he has well, to move he it. He, he's already, but he's already came up for me quite a bit. I think this is, I think this is the bottom line here. It, if it's thirty-eight, then I, that's it. That's literally all I have in it, and I'm not making a dime. I'm not even paying for my gas to get get to work. <laughs> well, then tell him you cannot cover for him. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Then you I have to do that. You know, and thank you. I mean, hopefully you understand, and you know. If 
if I could get If there. you could get to 4,000, call me back if and I'll I give could. you my truck. He can be there in an okay. hour. A good guy, good truck is starting. That's yes, yeah, yes, okay. he'll be there in an hour. A pickup will be on time in Pittsburgh and Pennsylvania. Four grand. Right. Tells a great guy yeah. this is Ukrainian saleswoman who is in logistics. Can, yeah. <laughs> can do it for four thousand. So <laughs> give, give me one. Give me one second. I'm gonna put you on hold. It might take me like a couple minutes to get a hold of them and have this conversation. You might, you might hold for a minute. I can hold, honey. Put me on hold. All right. Thank you for calling Verse Logistics. So let's where look at this. We have only five uh, 500 Whether miles, right? Warehousing, Picking up today, delivering Monday. Perfect. Yeah, it's Verse not five, it's not six, but we're not going away. all the way to the score, right? 4,000, if we can push 4,000, what are we talking about? Wow. What is per? Uh, what is this per uh, mile? Eight. Eight dollars, right? Let me put him volume down. So if we can do this, yeah, we can book the truck, right? So his uh, rating is B. We not set up. We will need to do setup. Thank you for calling Verse Logistics. So let's see what's going on while he is on a brand. Why didn't we book that six thousand load? Well, because I'd better go for four thousand to Pittsburgh and make sure that my driver goes and spend time with uh, his family he can pick up today go back celebrating christmas and he has to live only on sunday afternoon to be in pittsburgh on 10 o'clock on monday that's why the profit is going to be the same because it's only 500 miles Six thousand was going to was thousand miles right all right i'm back yes If, if it was 38, then he'd, he'd call and book it now. But we can't, we can't go up anymore, unfortunately. Thank you, though. Okay, thank you. Yeah, just put my offer. Thank you. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you. Bye bye. So see, we still gonna cover the truck, but what I'm telling you, so 38. Well, we just need 200 bucks. Let them sit there. Let them sit and call us back. You know, I am not worried about not calling the uh, covering the truck. The closer I'm going to get to 2, 3 p.m., believe me, they're going to start running desperate. And I'm not desperate. I am the pro. So we're going to still find the best load so my driver can make the highest profit. Plus, maybe going and spending time with his family and being in an area where it's easy to get out, right? So if I'm going to Massachusetts and delivering at night, or I have to drive extra five, 600 miles, 6,000 is going to become less profit. That's how you have to think. From Pittsburgh, I'm right there. I can get out back to Chicago, be in Chicago again on Tuesday, get another load and go. Then I can go to Massachusetts and deliver on Thursday and come back home and have those uh, 13,000 gross per week, right? Hopefully you are following me, right? Okay, so why why is that office is where uh, why is that office is where the money is? Okay, uh, what is this? Yes, in Arizona company had me drive this messed up tires. Okay, we're talking about what about uh, illegal tires? Company is not making uh, preventive maintenance, right? So what is the preventive maintenance for your trucks, right? oil change your brakes your tires they always have to be maintained on time you cannot send your drivers to drive and hope that he's not gonna get stopped because you're gonna spend more money on a road assistance you're gonna spend money on a late fees you're gonna become not reliable carrier carrier because all the bad inspections is staying on your record for three years so is it worse to push the truck on a road with illegal tires? No, it's not. But a lot of people do not understand that, right? So let's see who else is. It's simple. Your training is simply the best. Thank you so much. Uh, hello, Alexandra. I love the way you handle, bro. I know you need to have experience to know. Yes, that's why you need to guys uh, sign up for training and get the foundation, right? Getting rich overnight does not work. No, it does not work. 
This is another thing. If you guys are following all those tracking gurus, people who tell you that you guys are going to be millionaires by dispatching two, three trucks, this is not true because the dispatch is a hard work. It's dynamic. But yes, you're going to make a pretty good money. You can make 200,000, 250 dispatching eight, 10 trucks. Dispatch. Hey, this is Ellen with Sunset. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How can I help? Well, I'm looking at a truck that you got on uh, next Tuesday, looking to get out to Maryland. You still working on that guy? Well, let me check UMC first, honey, because I've never heard of your company, Sa Snowland Freight. Well, this is a good name for the winter time. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's actually Sunset Transportation. Okay, so what is MC? I actually don't know my MC. I'm working from home today. Isn't that something? Well, you should know the OMC. You've you probably been working for a few years, right? So it is Sunset. I can yeah. I, so I can find you by the name Sunset Transportation, and we can verify. We can verify on the address. Okay, Sunset Transportation. Let's see. Are you the one from Missouri? Are you the one from Texas, Nebraska? Which one? St. Paul. I'm sorry? St. Paul. St. Paul what? Minnesota. Well, I don't have Sunset Transportation Inc. Or what is it? It's Sunset Transportation. Um, hold on. I can... Well, because we have one which is from Missouri which has rating C, all other sunset transportation are not going to be approved by my factory from Texas, Nebraska, Wyoming. Uh, so they not. So I really need to know exactly actually your MC or oh, your DOT. Yeah. Okay. Let me grab it. Hold on. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. What is it? All right. 211084. 211084. So you are from St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. You're probably your main office in St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah. Okay. So what do you have, ma'am? Well, I got a load. It's actually, it, it might be able to go Tuesday, but I'm wondering if maybe you got someone late Monday that can move it. It's out of Manitowoc, Wisconsin, uh, frozen load headed to Elkton, Well, honey, uh, actually, actually, hold on. I think, um, no, we are looking to go today or Sunday, but not Monday or Tuesday. Our truck is posted today. for today or Sunday. Oh, okay. Do you think like Monday morning he'd be able to move it? Uh, no, because he's ready to go today or Sunday. We're not going to wait till Monday, unfortunately. All right. No worries. I appreciate it. Thank Have you so weekend. much. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Okay. Again, you need to make sure you verify what is she calling about. So far, we have posting Chicago for today, Chicago for Sunday. We have few options chicago to z1 z2 z0 and same for sunday right what do we know about our truck well we know that our truck is um has what reefer right size of our reefer is 53 feet we know that he has swing doors we also know that he has e-tracks inside of the truck he has 12 straps. His unit is 2017, which is Thermo King, right? This is important to know. And what else do we know? We know that his empty scale ticket uh, is uh, 34 and 6. So he can scale not more than 44 and a half. Do you need to know that? Yes, we do. What do we know about the driver, right? We know that the driver has tankering doors. That's mean if they are looking for the 
driver to move chemicals but not hazmat care uh, chemicals we can take that and usually they pay more especially in winter when it's a combination of reefer and tanker indoors driver somebody's asking what is mc okay so somebody's new is joining us mc motor carrier trucking company has to have active motor carrier number given from federal motor carrier safety administration in order to do what to be able to go on the road right to activate mc you need to do two steps right insurance liability minimum seven hundred fifty thousand plus boc3 form nobody needs uh no uh fmcsa doesn't care about cargo insurance but who is going to give you loads if you do not have cargo coverage so let's talk about it how do you start business right activate mc 1 million in liability 100,000 in cargo boc3 filing of course you need to make sure you have a physical coverage for your baby truck and baby trailer right so this is mc motor carrier this is number for companies who go out of state interstate care outside for example i am in illinois if i want to go i need mc if i only work in illinois I can just use USD or T number, which is free, right? I'm going to be intrastate carrier. So this is a difference. So make sure that you guys start learning terminology. Dispatch. Hi, this is Juan at USA Logistics. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. I was uh, calling to see if you're still working on your reefer in Lake Zurich, Illinois for today. Yes, I do. So how much, uh, I mean, what do you have, sir? Let's start with UMC first. So I know we can work together. 263539. Okay. 3539. USA Logistics from uh, Chesterton, Illinois. No, we're out of Chesterton, Indiana. Oh, Chesterton, Indiana. Okay, sorry. Okay, what do you have, sir? Uh, I got a load of uh, frozen foods running at zero degrees, picking up in Chicago today uh, at 1600, delivering to Westboro, Massachusetts, Monday at 3 a.m. Okay, how much are you paying? I have 5400 on the rate. Well, we already had an offer for this for six thousand, sir. Um, oh, is it the one that you guys were waiting for us? Yeah, we are like waiting. That? Yeah, because, because you, yeah, because your rating is C, so I am waiting for approval. So I already talked to your girl there in the office. So I'm waiting for my factory to approve you because your rating is C. So I want to make sure that we can work with you. So give me a few more Did minutes. You get that approval yet from your factory company? Not yet. That's what I'm waiting for. So give me a few more minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. So what happened? Remember, somebody was asking me why we did not book that load for six thousand. Well, I told them that I'm checking on a factor in which I don't really have to do because I have it right here, right? So see, it's up to me if I want to work with C or not, right? I was just buying some time. So he calls me back and goes back to what to fifty five hundred, right? I do remember what I am talking about. So unfortunately, I remember we were already at six and she said yes. So how important it is to recognize who is calling you. So let's see who is out here while well, watching my teacher handle in business. It never gets old. Yes, I guess it is entertaining. Okay, what is your percentage from weekly growth? in the pants on the company if uh oh hold on dispatch hey this is sam with English logistics i'm looking at your truck posting in lake zurich illinois for today yes what is your mc sir uh it's england logistics let me pull it oh it's here. england logistics no that's fine you approved so what is the okay. what is the load you want to talk about uh i've got a load going from champagne illinois to philadelphia pa well, she's 42,000 pounds, 65 degrees tent, picks up the day, delivers on Monday. 
Yeah, unfortunately, I am looking to find something closer with the transit because, you know, we're in Chicago. Sorry, we're not going to be deadheading 166 miles, hon. Understood. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. So, again, would this work for me? Champaign, Illinois to Philadelphia. I don't even want to spend my time because it will be too much of deadheading for me. Look at this. Then I have to move it here, right? He's going to drive. He's going to drive through here, right? So this is a miles. But what did we agree on? That we're going to load today so the driver can go back or we're going to leave on Sunday. So let's go back to our forum. Why you guys want to choose our training? Well, because you believe that we are the best. Because you need advanced training. Oh, somebody wrote a big review. My wife is a graduate psychologist. And whenever I am explaining something to her or someone else, I usually have, um, have with my hands to convey my thoughts. Okay. And uh, you know what? I have to read. I have to read from this screen because it's hard for me. I need to get glasses. Uh, waving with your hands and explaining over and over the basics of dispatch and transportation. For a long time ago, I wanted to learn more about transportation and dispatching the trucks and had some other YouTubers in my subscription comparing their video with yours. It's like kindergarten and something which is the next level. Yes, guys, I use hands. If I could touch you through the Zoom and say, please pay attention to me, I would do that. All right. Dispatch. Hi, this is Tracy with USA Logistics. Uh, is this Alan? Yes, uh, Tracy. I'm still waiting for my RTS to reply to me. Can you give me a few minutes, please? I'll call you right sure. back. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure. All mm -hmm. right. Bye-bye. Thank you. So she's calling me back because they want to cover that load for six grand, right? But we are doing live. They don't know this. Well, what else? Why are you choosing our training? Because it would be another stream of income, right? Because you guys started trucking company. Because Alex really cares and all business, no fluff. Yeah, no BS. I'm guys direct. You, 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 oh, you love it or you hate it. It's, it's just, it, that's how it works, right? What else? Um, oh, I don't know. This mode doesn't really work. Let's change to this. You are very detailed, in-depth information compared to competitors. I choose training because I was watching a bunch of YouTube channels who are really teaching the subject. However, in comparison to your teaching, Alex has proven to be the best in what she does. Thank you, guys. It's all really matters for your feedback. Also, she does not tolerate nonsense. No, I do not tolerate nonsense. I have no patience for nonsense. And even sometimes if I have to repeat over and over, a lot of my students say, Alex, you have so much patience. Maybe it seems like, but probably inside, like, I don't like to repeat the things. I, but when I'm teaching, there's a part of teaching, right? If you want to be a teacher, if you want to relay information, this is not called the patience. It's it's probably teaching, teaching uh, style, right? And making sure that you guys get that information. So I don't mind repeating stuff over and over because I want to make sure you have it Uh uh, understanding that you understand what you're doing, how you're going to use it. Okay. I also realize that she's not just a person with the knowledge, but in her job because I'm running truck in business and logistics. Okay. You seem very knowledgeable. Again, knowledge does not stop, guys. I go, I read, I sign up for a lot of forums, a lot of training. You cannot stop growing. I know this much about logistics and I need to grow together with you because I haven't been doing it for a long time. You know, seven, eight years, it's not enough time to become an expert. And again, remember what I say, nobody can be an expert. You need to look at this with open mind, right? Dispatch. Hey, I'm calling that uh, Lake Zurich, Illinois. Is that available? Yes, it's available. Um, may I have your MC, please? 905-208. Okay, what do you have, sir? I got a uh, Pleasant Prairie to Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, or Manassas, Virginia. Well, unfortunately, we're only going to go to Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Massachusetts, and, you know, upstate New York. We're not going to North Carolina or Virginia. Understood. 
appreciate it. Thank uh -huh. you. Thank you. Bye bye. So again, knowing knowing what your driver wants. I know he's not going to go to North Carolina. I know he's not going to go to Virginia. So why to waste my time and his time, right? And did you hear, did you hear his voice? Oh, going about drug, this and this. I don't even have a patience already to talk to him. Make sure you have energy, guys, because you need to talk. You have to be live, right? This is dynamic. Don't go about my truck, I need to do this. No, you have a truck. You need to cover. You know what you're talking. Confidence comes from knowledge. Confidence comes from knowing your equipment. Confidence comes with knowing the plan. What are you going to do with him? Confidence uh, comes with knowing terminology. And yes, saying no to the nonsense, right? So what else we have? Uh, it's my first training, and I've heard you guys are the best. Thank you. Gain knowledge in trucking and dispatching. Good reviews. That's why you're choosing us, because of good reviews. Yes. Thanks to our students who are leaving reviews. And sadly, only 10% of our students leave reviews. So whoever watching today, who are my previous students, and who went through our training, I would like to get that review, not just because you took our training, but because you want us to change industry provider. You should be joining our mission. And if your review is good or bad, it still needs to be out there, right? Because we cannot just have the best reviews, right? Five stars all the time. Maybe you guys don't like my pushiness. Maybe too much homework. But please leave that review, right? I think I do deserve by going an extra mile for each of you. So today, whoever did not leave a review, I want to see it, right? Good or bad, doesn't matter. On Google, on Dispatch, on YouTube, make sure you leave the review so people know. Because when they choose the training, look at this. They look at the reviews, right? I really like the way you teach. Honesty. To learn this patch, Alex is the best. She has a stop transit with emotions. Yes, sometimes I am too emotional from YouTube hands-on training. So again, let's go back. All of you going to have a chance to talk to the brokers, right? To use those load boards to make sure you can book your first load or maybe just listen for other students to book it without phone calls without being under pressure. No one can start dispatch. And yes, you could, but it's going to take you longer. And my my uh, this uh, my students can actually tell you, this is a nerve-wracking, right? That first phone call, you think you're ready, you think you know, but you start posting and you make a mistake. You have to start uh, looking at this and that first phone call. But again, this is a first phone call. So it's going to get better and better and better and better and better. And then you're finally going to start loving this patching like I do. Do you guys see? I mean, you cannot fake me, you know? You cannot really fake me because I'm really like, you know, I'm open book, right? For some people, I cannot sit here and pretend, oh my God, I love this patch. And when, when I don't like it, I don't like it. But I love this process. That's why I would never give up. I don't have to dispatch. We have dispatch team, but I still dispatch every day. So people were asking, how much do I charge? If you are a beginner, um, the, a new authority, right? We charge 10%. If you have, depends how many trucks you have, right? If you have uh, two to five trucks, well, it goes back to seven, 8%. Again, Am I building your companies? And it's going to be even more because I do safety. But average, we charge from 7 to 8% if you've been in business. If we are helping you, yeah, it's going to start higher. But again, we're going to go lower. If you're a good carrier and we're growing together, of course, we're going to negotiate that. Yes? So that's what about uh, this. What else? So that's one of the questions. So we have a lot of responses here. That's what you want. But let's see, after watching video, I learned dispatch and truck uh, skills. We have lots of different response. We have other 13. Let's see how you guys find us, right? 
so most of you uh find us on youtube that's why we're going on youtube and making lives right my cousin sent it to youtube so most of you on youtube uh, from my dad youtube joe silva uh <laughs> kramer cross that's probably was from um from uh, star friends came across so youtube 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 referrals eric cramp so somebody refers us people who already took the classes facebook and our searching on youtube friend google it tiktok wow we even have somebody from tiktok youtube okay referred by friends okay recommended recommended facebook recommended so again people please recommend us share our postings do the review uh subscribe because i do believe we do a great job right so what are your goals so let's look at this statistics so what are the goals of people who sign up and i think this is first become a company dispatcher i think we need to add it it's the same as uh become a company dispatcher right here so 12 plus 6 with 18 18 percent dispatch Hey, this is Alex from Trailer Bridge calling on a reefer. You got post at Lake Zurich for today? Zurich. Uh, yes. What do you have, sir? So I've got a load that's picking up out of Burlington, Wisconsin. It's about 40 miles from you. Going over to uh, Salem, Virginia. Would you be interested in something like that? Uh, not really. He doesn't like to go to Virginia. But um, let's see. Salem, Virginia. When is it delivering? It's got a Monday morning at 11 a.m. Monday morning at 11 a.m. Um. Who is the receiver there? Uh, it's U.S. Foods. U.S. Foods. And what is the commodity? This one's going to be 31,700 pounds. It is frozen grocery. Negative 10 to the reefer. It is no touch and no lumper. We have everything prepaid. Um, pickup today is until 6 p.m. So it's just first come, first serve until 6. And then uh, 11 a.m. delivery for Monday. And how much are you paying, sir? He's got to post it out for 37. I'm looking to see what you guys need for that. Well, let's see what everybody else is paying today. Borlington, you know, today is spot market due to the Christmas right. for the Eastern Europeans. Well, well, honey, they have loads going to Virginia, 42, 45. Okay, this is 57, but it's two drops. But 42, 45, that's what we're looking So. Even if I talk to him to go there, I will need to be at that 47, 48. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I just can't add an extra thousand dollars, but I appreciate you checking. Yeah, thank you so much. You got it. All right, bye. Well, you don't want to add extra thousand to me? Find somebody who does not check the market, right? And we have lots of dispatchers who will jump on that load. But again, it's not a bad price, but I know my driver. He's not going to go to Virginia. Plus, what happened in Virginia a few days ago? Remember, that snowstorm and we had people sitting there for hours and hours and hours. And look at the map one more time. When we're talking about this area, guys, especially if you talk about 64, you do not want your truck in the winter to go to 64. Please. This is dangerous. It's a black ice. It's very hard to drive there. I'm not killing my equipment or my driver. Dispatch. Hi, this is Garrett Cole from Mark Pettis. How are you doing? I am doing well. How can I help? I was calling to see on that posting you had out of Lake Zurich, Illinois today. Yes, what do you have, hon? Yes, you have been picking up out of West Chicago, Illinois. What time? Today at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Going to Cincinnati, Ohio. When is it delivering? Monday. Monday. First come, first serve, 7.30 to 3. Uh, commodity is non-hazmat chemicals. Total weight is 36,100 pounds, and they are palletized. Mm -hmm. Need the temperature to be at 65 degrees. Damn. And looking at the rate, I can give it to you for 22.50. 22.50. Yeah, unfortunately, with a spot market today, I have to be at 3,500, hun. Okay. Uh, why are you so high? That's not what we're seeing. Well, because today time. most of the drivers in Chicago are not going on the road. It's their Christmas. Today their Christmas day. Hmm. Okay. That's so 3500 would be your best rate? Yes. Okay. Well, let me communicate that to my uh, customer. Give me one second, okay? Okay. Sounds good.
Okay. So let's go back. So most of you, you know what? I'll just dispatch. Yo, yeah, call about your truck there in Lake Zurich. Yes, uh, sir. What do you have? Yeah, I've got a load. It's a picking up tonight around 9 p.m. in Chicago. It's mm -hmm. a one pick two drop. Um, unfortunately, drop. unfortunately, I have to stop you right there. We do not do multi pick, multi drop, sir. Shoot. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Hello. Okay, we're still on hold. Again, I know we're not going to be doing multi pick, multi drop. Plus, picking up at 9 p.m. Am I going to sit till 9 p.m.? No. I want to pick up now or I have to pick up on Sunday. Right? We still on hold with this guy. Okay. So let's see. So most of you want to become a company dispatcher 18%. Become independent dispatcher. Right? Look, 68% and 29 because it was a repeating question. So we change a little bit our form. So most of you have that business mind, right? You want to be independent dispatcher. Well, 38% 38% of you when you sign up for classes, you want to open your own trucking company, right? Uh you want to become a compliance specialist, well, safety, right? And obtaining small business certifications, one of those. So again, most of you come here with a business mind. Hello? Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to wait a little bit. We have probably another 10, 15 minutes to go. I think you guys had enough of uh, excitement today. So let's see. Let's see who we have here. I like your honesty. Okay, you updated your green colors. We pay nice work. Happy New Year. Yes, Zach Petrovsky, I told you. That green green color was because we were all or, or ordering the car, right? Green Lamborghini. So that was correspondence of Las Vegas trip and new car. That's why we went bold. We're not afraid to change the colors. Hey, ma'am, you still with me? Yes, sir. Hey, yeah, that's just uh, too high of an offer, 35. Is there any way you can uh, come off of that? Well, 34 would be my lowest, hun. Okay, let me communicate that to him. Hold on one second. Do you want to just call me back if you can get it? Okay. I will send the review. You deserve it. Well, thank you, America. I start the IFTA. So excited. It helps a lot to see an actual look at forward starting class. Thank you. And I'm a previous student. I learned so much about this industry. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. Okay, we are uh, seen found you on YouTube. Thank you. Hi, Alex. Help you with the classics. I improved a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Solana. And found you on YouTube. Uh, sign up for January class. See you soon, guys. It's gonna be lots of lots of um learning in January. We added even more extra quizzes and homework. Do you have payment plans? If you cannot cover, we can split into payments. We need to invoice you. Send us email and we can do that. We can split into payments. So the first would be due right now and a second by the third class. I don't know. Should we just hang up on this guy or should we be nice today, Friday? Let's see what he can get us. Okay. Thank you. And... I am driving to Columbus, Ohio, to Pennsylvania. This lady is on top of it. I wish I owned my own truck. It's never too late. Put it in your goals, right? You need to get you need to get the truck and become owner if that's what you want. Yes, sir. I appreciate the offer, but we're going to pass. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, hon. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So, well, we were talking about what? He can do 35, right? 32 for 352 miles. Well, I will call him back if my driver decides, but I will be calling people in 10 minutes after I'm done live and maybe somebody still call. So let's see. So one more time, most of you want to become independent dispatchers, right? And trainings are you interested in? Well, personal consultation, 38%. 
dispatch training is 93% open in truck and company webinar. We have interest from 36 of you. If the calculations, tracking safety is 46% because you understand without safety and compliance, you cannot succeed as a dispatcher, as independent dispatcher, or as the owner of the tracking company, right? So mentorship brokerage. Well, and again, you are you following us? Yeah, you guys following us on Facebook, but most of you is on YouTube. So let's make sure you guys subscribe to our website, our Facebook, right? Have you attended classes before? Most of you attended our safety or IFTA and then came for our dispatch. Some of you know, some of you did attend and coming back. And this is your responses. I want to be a pro. Do we get certificate? Yes, you'll get certificate after you finish your final class. Excited to learn. I'm very excited. A little concerned about my English. Well, as long as you can understand, as long as you can understand and you have intermediate level, you will be fine. You are giving great value for the money. Thanks. Excited to learn. So this is our data. So when you guys are answering all those um, forms, it helps us to see how can we approve and what are you looking for. Dispatch. Hey, I'm, it's Emerson with Kingsley. I'm calling your truck at uh, in uh, Lake Zurich. What yes. Do? Yes. What is your uh, MC? See, I got something coming out of Kiel that needs to be picked up by. May I have your MC, sir, first. Yeah, MC is going to be 197973. 197973. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kingsgate Logistics, right? Yep, that's correct. Okay, uh, where are we picking up? Can you give me a zip code? Yeah, it's going to be 53042. 042, what time is the pickup? It's at 3. Uh, 3 p.m. Oh, wow, well, it's already 1. We have to move fast. And where is it going? It's going to be going to Portland, uh, let's see, Maine. Okay, Portland, Maine. Mm -hmm. When is it going to deliver? Monday at 11 a.m. And we're paying 7 grand on it. 7 grand. Mm -hmm. Well, first, we have 130 miles that had. Right. I can give you a couple couple extra hundred bucks there for that. Well, that's not about that. It's already 1 p.m., so it's not going to be possible to be there at 3. We're not flying. Sure we're not a Boeing. Close. close to what? Close to 3. Close to 3. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is a commodity? Well, close to 3. Uh, it's not going to be 3 because by the time we're going to be done with you, it's going to be one one fifteen. Driver has to be dispatched. He has to go to truck. He's empty, but he's not in a truck. So we are looking at 4, 4.30. So okay, do you want to see if he wants that load regardless first thing? No, first I want to make sure that okay. can they wait till 4, 4.30. Uh, no, it's going to be three. I mean, that's why I was thinking if he were to head out, you know, relatively now, see if he can make it there. Well, we would love to do that, but we're not a boy and honey. We cannot. Oh, we have I to do. You have to do the PTI. You have to warm totally up the truck. You know. I totally get it. I totally get it. Trust me. That's why I'm calling out on it, though. Yeah, I mean, you should find somebody closer. Thank you so much, though. You have a great rate. You know, somebody's gonna jump yeah. on it. Okay. Hopefully. Thank you. Uh huh. Bye bye. Again, how important it is to realize: Can you even be there? Seven thousand sounds so great, right? He's even offering you extra few hundred. We did not even start negotiation. Probably we could end up with 76. But what is the biggest problem here, guys? The dad had 130 miles. We already, what, almost 1 p.m. By the time we're going to be done with the paperwork, all of these things, me verifying, calling if their load is ready. Well, we're talking about probably 130. Driver can start driving 130, right? You need... Two hours, 19 minutes. If what? If you just look in on a Google, right? We are semi. Add an extra 45 minutes, right? So you need three hours. So our ETA, estimated time of arrival, cannot be three o'clock. So why should I keep talking, keep negotiating if I cannot pick up on time? This is the biggest mistake dispatchers do. They get excited about the money. But if you cannot pick up on time, what's going to happen? Your driver drives, 
He goes there and the shipper already closed. Dispatch. Hello, this is Sam with TQL. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. My favorite TQL. What do you guys have for me today? <laughs> I'm calling to see if uh, you happen to have a 53 foot reefer available in uh, Lake. Yes, I do. What do you have, honey? Yeah, I'm calling to see if you want this uh, one pick, one drop. Picks up in Chicago at 24 7 facility and delivers to Bedford Heights, Ohio, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. or Monday at 8 a.m. Well, what is a commodity? It's a truckload of potatoes. Okay. It needs to be at 45 degrees continuous. Okay, may I have zip code for the pickup? Uh, bear with me one second. I need to get them for you. I have the names. I don't have zip codes, but I can get that for you. Okay, who is the shipper? The shipper is in Chicago. Okay, what is the name of the shipper, hun? Uh, we uh, we don't have that information quite yet, but it's in what Chicago. do you mean you don't know who is a shipper, who is a receiver? Yeah, it's uh, picking up in uh, Chicago. Sir, who is a shipper, who is a receiver? I know it's in Chicago, I know it's going to Bedford Heights, Ohio. I need to know who is a shipper, who is a receiver, so I can help you out. Yeah, I don't have that information quite yet. Well, if you don't have that information, then you should not be calling about the truck. Have a good one, thank you. Again, guys, I'm not going to be dealing with TQL if they're not going to disclose to me who is a shipper, who is a receiver. I'm not going to be stuck at pickup. I'm not going to be stuck at delivery. So they can find somebody who is desperate, who doesn't need that information. I think we are done for today because I still have to do a lot of things. I need to make sure everything goes smooth. It's Friday. Hopefully you enjoy this. So let's run through a few... Oh, let's run one more phone call, okay? Dispatch. Hey, it's Cash. I'm calling from Charger. Yes, how can I help? Yes, I'm calling because I see that you guys have a truck available in um, Lake Zurich. Yes, we do. What do you have, ma'am? I got a load coming out of Aurora, Illinois, going to Monroe, New Jersey. Aurora, Illinois. And may I have the zip code for delivery? Mm-hmm. 08831. Zero eight eight three one. Okay. What time is a pickup? Uh, let me see. Give me one second. One by. They ship twenty four hours. When or where is your truck empty? Well, he's empty. So. If he's empty, he can head over now to be loaded. Delivery is going to be Monday at ten a.m. Is that going to be Costco? Yeah. Okay. What is a commodity? A uh, commodity is snack food, weighs 6,000 pounds. 6,000 pounds. Who is a shipper in Aurora? Orchard. 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 So they uh, ship without appointment? Uh, the appointment was at 1. Okay. So appointment was at 1. So we're going to be working truck yeah well then the working truck can take forever to get loaded i can definitely reach out to them though to get you guys loaded okay and uh how much are you paying for this i have 30 3200 yeah honey unfortunately today everybody's paying from five thousand to six thousand to go to east coast sorry okay so what rate are you looking for well, to go to New Jersey, being working truck, I need to be at 55. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're way off, but I do appreciate it. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. Again, working truck. Well, they're open 24-7, working truck. You have to verify that. Oh, so that means somebody found the better rates because today's market went up. So what happening? Lots of dispatchers are canceling the loads. Why? Because they did not think about the holidays. They did not think that price is going to go crazy today. So their drivers making them to cancel the loads or their management's like, no way. We're not going to East Coast 438. We're not going to East Coast to 4 when everybody else pays 55, 6,000. So lots of cancellation. What other problem? Lots of trucks are not going on the road because of the holiday. 
Number three problem, lots of trucks are not going on the road because they cannot start their trucks because they did not add special um, solution to their fuel. So their diesel is frozen because it's very cold today in Chicago. So that's what we have. So we have shortage of drivers due to holiday. We have shortage of the trucks due to not able to start their trucks, right? We have spot market. So that's, we have cancellation. That's why guys, when something like this happened, you have all the power and you just need to choose that perfect, the best load. But again, don't jump into money only. Who is the shipper? Who is the receiver? Is that appointment? Are you going to get out of that area? What time of the pickup? And who is actually the broker? Because if you have to choose between A broker and C broker, and you just choosing because C broker is paying you $500 more, this is not a smart decision because chances that they really going to pay you are slim. So I'd better go with 500 less, but the broker who I know. I better go with 1000 maybe less, but with a shipper and a receiver, which is going to be easy in and out. I better go from not dead heading all the way to Wisconsin when I cannot even make the pickup because I know my distance. I know we're not flying. I know that they're going to be close. It's Wisconsin. And I know the shipper there. Yeah, it's a cheese. It's a commodity. But can we fly? So all of this, guys, you need to have in your head and you need to enjoy uh, doing this, right? So today, hopefully you had a good experience. Again, if we're going to receive all the support, if we're going to see all the comments under these videos, I will continue doing. But I need to see you guys. You really enjoying it because I know how to call. I don't have to do it in front of you. I know how to negotiate, right? And again, thank you for support. Some people asking about the classes. Again, go to our website, right? Go and make sure you are here. You have all our classes, right? We are adding, we're working on this because now I have time to go and change stuff. So our reviews, make sure that you have all our media, right? We've shared the links. So if you need to connect with our website, it's right here with our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok right make sure you guys follow me on tiktok because remember we have my assistant max a little cat who's also making phone calls and he wants to become famous on tiktok he's the best dispatcher i guess he's off today can you believe that that cat is celebrating christmas and i have to work well no fun well let's see again i have three classes so start with ifta dispatch in january safety cannot wait Thank you. Yes, Angela, I seen you and you will receive all the stuff today and other few people who sign up. I think this is officially going to be the biggest class we ever have because as of today, we have 57 students starting January class. I will be closing registration on Monday. So whoever's going to get in, no more direct payments, no nothing on Monday. We are closing 57 students as of today after Angela signed up. And I do believe somebody was signing up right now. So classes will be uh, free 10 a.m. till class finish on Sundays. Well, guys, make sure you have it scheduled. We start Saturday, Sunday, the first two classes. And then it's Saturday. It's 10 a.m. Central time you have to be there you present we do not send recordings we're not recording you have to be present so make sure that that works for you do you post your available driver somewhere so that brokers call do yes i post my equipment i want them to call so let's look one more time right if you go to that People afraid of posting. So what they do, what they do, they search loads, right? You can go and you search. For example, again, any or only, right? So let's say put when, right? Actually, tomorrow I will need to cover for when. He's going to be in um, Kenosha, 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 Wisconsin, right? 
he only goes to Z4, Z5, Z6, Z7, strong Midwest and the South part. So I can just search, right? Deadhead, well, I'm not putting much deadhead, 75 miles. And he is 53. And also he can scale up to 46,000. Pay attention here. This two means two hours back. So if I'm not going to change that, right now is one o'clock. I am going to be able to see only loads posted 11 a.m. Well, people work until seven, right? So you need to change this at least to 48 and then search. Dispatch. This is Casey with Absolute Combat. Your Lake Zerg truck, is that available? Yes, it's available. What can I help you with? I have freight coming out of Rochelle, Illinois. You need to go to Marcy, New York or Taylor, Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, let's start with UMC. What is UMC, hon? 536-467. Five three six four three seven. Four six seven. Oh, four six seven. We're not set up. I'm with Absolute out of Maryland. Okay, let me just check. Okay, rating is C. Uh, what is a what is a pickup zip code? Uh, six one zero six eight. Six one zero six eight. Okay, Rochelle, Illinois. What time is a pickup? Uh, do you want to go to New York or Pennsylvania? Which uh, New York? Upstate New York? Or what are we talking? Yeah, it's Marcy. It's right next to Utica. Uh, may I have zip code for the Upstate New York? Sure. It's 13403. 403. 13403. Well, it did not come up. How do you spell the city? It's Marcy, M as in Mary, mm -hmm. A R C Y. Mm -hmm. Okay, Marcy, New York. Okay. So what time is it pick up today? It's got a 2 p.m. pickup, 11 a.m. delivery on Sunday, 42.8 on the weight, dry food on pallet. It's paying 35. Yes, unfortunately, honey, we are looking to deliver on uh, Monday morning. I can look into that if, if you can do my rate. Yeah, unfortunately, the rate, we have to work on it as well because of the spot market today. I have to be at 4,800, hon. He is empty. And what about Pennsylvania? Which which was what was a uh, transit there? You had one to go into Taylor, PA. Yeah. When is that delivering? Uh, also on Sunday, but I can probably move it. Who has a shipper and a receiver? Is a shipper's writer. The receiver is Sands or Walmart. Oh, that's Walmart. Uh, what's your name? Alex. Alex, if I can get close to your 48, I'll let you know. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Bye. Dispatch. Bye. Dispatch, how can I help? Hi, this is Scott Circle. How are you doing? I am doing well. How are you doing, sir? Good. Let's call to see if you still have your roof available in Lake Zurich. Yes, I do. What do you have, sir? Um, I got a load picking up 43 miles away in Walworth. Wisconsin by two o'clock. May I have zip code, please? Yes, one second. Um, sorry, my computer's taking a little slow. It is 53184. 53184. Okay, and where is it going? The latest uh, P, Fredericksburg, PA. It's got to deliver tomorrow morning at 1030. Will you be able to be there by two? That's what time they stop receiving trucks, though. That's... No, honey, we're not flying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I got you, you're not calling airline, right? You're not calling the military. We're not flying. Uh, yeah, no, no. I, I was just looking at that. Um, I Any... have some other stuff going out of Illinois for a reefer. Well, what do you have? Let me jump over to that page. And what is your MC, by the way? Seven six one two nine one. Seven six one six nine one. Seven six one two nine one. Oh, two nine one. Yeah. 
circle logistics. What's going on with your rating, guys? You guys used to be B. Now you're going to C. Are you stop paying your uh, bill? So what's going on? I have no idea what you're even talking about. <laughs> well, they're rating from the factory, and you know, you guys uh, scored a C. Oh, I uh, I'm fairly new, so. Okay. Well, why don't you call me back when you find something good? Because it's Friday. I need to make sure I cover the truck. Thanks for the phone call. Yeah, I was going to say the only other things I'm seeing are like wheeling. Okay. Going to Waco, Texas, but it has to be there by one. Again, it's already um, 110. Are you guys like. Yeah, I, I know. That's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm look, trying to look through the list for today. And What's going on? You guys uh, came to work late today and you did not realize the timing? Oh, no, I've been calling on these. You just popped up on my list recently here in the last 30 minutes. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, enjoy your weekend you. and your work. Thanks. Again, 1 o'clock pick up and wheeling. Well, it's already 1.10. You still did not cover your load. That means that something is wrong. You barely knew. Well, again, guys, if you come to logistics, you have to work. You have to have energy. Don't sound like you have that because me personally, I don't have patience for that to even talk about the load, right? So you're not getting my truck. So let's see. Hey, Alex, are we required to know the commodities, manufacturing, shippers, receivers? Well, you guys start working, right? I am sending an extra zones today, Z3, Z4, Z5. Just start working on it because you need to know. Damn busted. I don't know what was it referred to, but... Thank you guys for support. I just love Alex. Thank you so much. Another Marioki dispatch. Oh, desperate. Yes. Okay. We too cannot wait to see you in a class. Hello. 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 Yes. Thank you, Marty. Thank you. Guys, we're going to be finishing up. Enjoy your Saturday. Thank you for the lesson. You're welcome, guys. Anytime. I appreciate your time. Thank you. What else? Remember, people, brokers are always trying to get extra money away from the driver and dispatcher. I love how she negotiates. Spot freight. Oh, my God. Spot freight. Dispatch, how are you? Good. How are you? I am great. How can I help you, sir? Yeah, wanted to reach out and see if you guys could run a Chicago to Westfield, Massachusetts for today. When is it delivering? 3 a.m. on Monday? No, uh, Monday evening. Okay, when are we picking up? Uh, today before five. Westville, Massachusetts. Where is the pickup? Pickup is in North Lake, Illinois. What time? By five. Uh, before five. Before, yeah, before five. five. Okay, so we're going to CNS on Monday. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is the commodity hunt? Uh, twenty-eight degrees with pork products. Okay, and how much are you paying today with the crazy prices? <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Uh, six. Six. Well, I can tell you this. I already have an offer for 65. It doesn't matter if I take it from you or them. So whoever going to give me the 65, he's ready to go. From, can Chicago, pick up. from Chicago to yeah. Westfield? Yeah, just post, post the dad. It's only on the dad. You know that drivers are celebrating Christmas, unfortunately. Or you have to lose or your uh, buyer seller have to lose money today. Or they can just push yeah. this. Or they can just push this product. <laughs> Poor product to Sunday or Monday. You don't have to pay them six thousand. You can go back to paying forty five. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. it's up. It's up to you. You have my MC. You have my phone number. I will be. Uh, I'm gonna be going making the coffee right now, and I will be back.
Yep. Okay, guys. So he put me on a mute, right? So look at this. The last phone call. North Lake picking up today, delivering to Westfield, Massachusetts, right? Details. Can we be there? It's open till four. What is a product? This is a pork, right? Not everybody else can hold a pork. So that's what we are doing. So if he gives me 65, we're going to book this load, right? It's delivering on Monday to CNS Monday night. That's actually what is I'm looking for. I cannot deliver 3 a.m. I'm not going to be punishing my driver. So how much the class cost? It's $7.99. Um, God, you have helped out so much. <clears throat> I do like the lessons. Lessons, I hope, become superhero like you. No, don't become. Really? A... Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Uh, just plug in your information and give me one second. So, did you get me 65? Yes. I don't see anyone else that has a poster for 65, though. I well, need to get a post on. Yeah, uh, just go in the, and update your information. I see, I can tell you right now. Okay, so if we're going to go to Post Rocks and we're going to post Lake Zurich, Illinois, and we're going to what? Add it to Massachusetts, to CNS with Monday night delivery, picking up today, extra day in transit. Look at this. We have 62, 61. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy right. because you know what? Because today is a holiday. Most Eastern Europeans are not going on their road. That's why it's a spot market. Yeah, I get it. I ain't new to the game. You are new to the game? How long you've been doing this? I said I'm not new to oh, the you're game. Not, oh, you're not new. So you then you know. That's why. Sorry. Well, right. <laughs> do you... uh, what time can he be there? Um, He'll be there by 2.30. All right. Okay. Yeah. MC, one more time. Send it. Okay. Uh, yes. Let's verify that one more time. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, just send me the email, please. Okay, and your name? Okay, and this is your direct number? It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, huh? thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, I have to put you on a hold for a few seconds uh, because, you know, we're going through the private information of the carriers. Uh, well, so what did we do? We did book that load for 65. Did we get it? Well, we did get it. So pick up today by 4 p.m. This is going to CNS, Westfield, Massachusetts, for Monday. 6,500 bucks. So what is our rate per mile? So let's see, did we bluff when we told him that everybody's paying? Yes, somebody was offering us 6,000, right? To go to Indiana, go to the same Massachusetts with delivery, what? On three o'clock. So we're talking about 1,000 thousand miles. Well, you guys can calculate it, $6.50 per mile. We are set up, he only needs uh updated insurance because this care change insurance in november probably we did not work with them well he's not new to the game did i stick to my number yes i did did i sound confident yes i did did i get my load yes i did if i can do it you can do it that's it guys i am kind of running out of air here because i've been talking too much Again, thank you so much. Is there any space for January class? We have four or five spaces left closing on Monday. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Another busted. I am 22. 
uh, tall white black and color in boxing if <laughs> interested honey i really think you are on the wrong channel if you are 22 i don't care which color or nationality you are if you want to start making money please make sure you find your passion is it dispatch driving logistics or maybe just keep being that desperate person it's for people who want to succeed thank you thank you awesome work i'm enjoying your videos and your training amazing changing trucking for better yes that's what we do yes sixty five hundred dollars we book the load and i need to work on what on finding the load for my driver for saturday i am only waiting to make sure the truck is going to be fixed next week i'm preparing the video of my new carrier who open MC in February, right? From February, uh, we start driving the first load we took on February 23rd. Then he had a one month of breakdown. That his vacation time, he took few vacations. So one month goes out. So in seven months, how much money did he make with a new authority? With having dry when with only going to Midwest? Well, guys, you're gonna be in shock with the number what are the profits i'm gonna spill a little bit i can tell you this that gross is three hundred forty-five thousand seven months with my dispatch so do you want to come and be dispatched by me i think so because you will make lots of money but i cannot cover everybody that's why i am training you guys so you can be a pro dispatchers so you can make profits and you can join my team being a pro dispatcher in USA. Thanks again. Merry Christmas to everybody who is celebrating with Alex Dad, Srash Distwom, everything the best. And again, I'll see you next week. Remember, IFTA is starting next Sunday. Do not miss our IFTA. Make sure if you're signing up for that, you have to use our code 2017475 to get the free months. Most of you are our members. Make sure you support our mission for $3.99. You can become a member so you can keep enjoying this live videos. And like, comment, and share. Again, love you all and see you soon. I need to make sure that I did receive, I did receive the rate confirmation. You guys have to make sure you keep, uh, you keep checking your emails. You need to make sure everything is done. So they need updated. Please uh, have your insurance. Okay. I have to forward to agency and make sure that they give them COI. Please. Pro white C O I A S A P, right? Okay, that's done. See you soon. Love you. Bye, guys.